now that I think about it, I don't know that much about Easter. Like, I know, like... I don't either. I know what I said about the whole, like, Jesus zombie coming back, he comes and he raises from the dead. Even though he, again, let me know. I guess someone messaged me online, because I don't, I'm honestly confused now that I'm thinking about it. And maybe I'm just thinking too hard about it. But, like, he, he doesn't raise from the dead. He just, like, he raises to heaven. He goes to heaven. He doesn't, he doesn't come out of the tomb and, like, hang out, does he? Or does he? I don't think so, and I've never really thought about that. It's just, like, right? the fact that the tomb is empty is what it hinges on. What if, like, a, so they're like, oh, he like raised, he's... got in there, you know? <laughs> yeah, moved the rock. <laughs> I don't know. Well, like, maybe... I, like I don't either. Way. Like, maybe, like, maybe a bunch of bugs came in through the cracks and, like, carried him away. I've seen cartoons where they do that. <laughs> you know? But, yeah, it made me think, I don't know a lo- whole lot about Easter and what it represents, and I thought we could do a little, like, trivia thing to see how much you know about Easter. So, I have... Uh, a bunch of Easter trivia questions, and I was looking through them earlier, and I don't think you're going to do very well on this. Oh, so, great. Yeah, just letting you know right now. We'll see, though. You might surprise us. I don't know what your Easter knowledge is. All right. You know, you come, you, your in-laws are Catholic, I think, so yeah. I don't know if that, I don't know what that does, but, you know. Yeah, yeah probably they get, nothing. They go crazy for all kinds of holidays, so. Yeah. So here, here's a good one. Which country brought us the tradition of Easter eggs? Ooh, which country brought us the tradition of Easter eggs? Yeah, bro. Can I eliminate one? Is it not the United States? It's not the no, no, it's not the United States. Um, okay, not the United States. I'll give you three guesses. And you have you know what? You have ten seconds for each one. Okay. Um, my first first thought is Spain. I think Spain brought it. Closer, but no. Hmm. Italy? No, you're kind of circling the rim, I think. Of the I'm trying to think of, be. like, super religious, or like, you, go, you know. Oh, you need to go more inward, in, more more toward land. You're, you're staying on the coast. Stay, go, go toward. Ooh, go in further north. in. Oh, my gosh. You, you gotta get um, in, the, in the muck of the European countries here. Right in the, I mean. I wouldn't say right in the heart, but I mean, my next, I think, obvious guess would be Tuxedo. France. No, that's not far enough. Germany oh, I didn't go far enough. See, I was in my head. I was like, I can't, I can't go to Germany. There's no way. Eggs okay, have been cool. decorated and given out on Easter for centuries. Jesus, that's a big one. I know. Okay, here we go. Do you know the song Peter Cottontail? Give me a few uh-huh. bars of it. Spit some bars. Uh, there goes Peter Cottontail hopping down the Easter something trail. Oh, trail, I think. But but hippity hop but up hip. <laughs> I don't know. Close enough. You're good. You're, so you're. It's you, funny you're, how you're familiar. I with don't. It. I haven't thought of that. In so here's so long. the. Uh, so here's the question for you. You should since you okay. you're familiar enough with it. I think you should know this. Hippity According to the song up. Peter Cottontail, what is the bunny bringing for Tommy? Who's Tommy? <laughs> that was my um, first question too. I was like, who's Tommy in this song? Can we, the, the questions change. Who's Tommy? Um, what is he bringing? Yeah, what's he bringing? Hey, and bonus eggs. points if you know what he's bringing his mommy. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, what the? I want to say eggs, but that's too obvious. Or It doesn't make sense anyway. He's bringing him. It's candy. Um, I'll tell you it's candy. I was getting ready to say a candy, but I want to get specific. He's bringing him, or it's multiples of one candy. He's bringing him little rabbit pellets, uh, chocolate. Your M and M's. The, the shape I, is I mean, close. Not, nope, you're headed in the nope. Not that kind of candy. Milk duds. No, oh, no, it's no, probably not. Name not brand. that kind of candy. <laughs> but you are close with the sort of the shape you were going for. Skittles. <laughs> no. You're closer though. I'll let you keep going. You're getting warmer with that guess. Is it like name brand like that though? No, that doesn't make. Yeah, that doesn't. Um, like, like um, think of mints. Like, oh, jelly beans. <laughs> oh, jelly, jelly beans. beans. Okay, what do you think That's he's bringing so his mommy? I'll give that. you one guess for that. What do you think he's bringing his mommy? A big old kiss. <laughs> oh, you pervert! <laughs> he's bringing her a new Easter bonnet. Oh, of Duh. course. 
People definitely still wear asking, those. She's been eyeing that one in the window for decades, man. I don't, and it's <laughs> for decades it's been sitting there. Why did I not think of jelly beans? What is the name of the best known Easter bunny in North America? The best. N- what? You know this one. Do I? Yeah. I don't know if. I mean, I should know it, probably. Um, Peter. Yeah, it's Peter, Peter Cottontail. Cottontail. It's Peter okay. Cottontail, yeah. A little callback. Actually, he's actually from a story by Beatrice Potter in 1902. It was not until later that the that he became known as the Easter Bunny. It was just his mm. own thing, and then they were like, hey, we got this open slot for a holiday mascot, and he was like, all right, sure. I'll slide into it's that. It's funny how, like, this comes around every year, but I've never really thought about why yeah. or what or how this connects at all. <laughs> yeah, I feel like people don't really – I mean, we don't really go to church, I guess. I was about to say people don't really celebrate Easter. They just kind of, like, do a fun thing on Easter. Yeah. You don't really, like, learn anything. Yeah, it's just something to something look forward happens. to and yeah. celebrate, I guess. Here's a good one. Which flower is associated with Easter? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, hmm, I actually didn't know that. L- lilies? Yeah, it is lily. Do you know why? Oh, boom! I, like I don't lilies. know. They're just the so li- light and delicate and pretty colored. It's, it's a they springtime so many flower. Colors. Yeah, it's a spring flower. Yeah. Uh, the lily is said to grow with its head down to honor Jesus. So, there you go. Okay. What do, what do you think the <laughs> Easter colors so. are? Ooh. Every holiday has two traditional colors. Like Christmas has red and green. Um, I would s- oh man, I was going to say pink and green. Are either nope. of those right? No, n- neither. Neither one of them? Neither. Um, right. like a like a sky blue? No. No. Like oh, that's not one either. I mean, it can't be or- think spring, green, think light. spring. Come on, think think like bright and fun and it's, colorful it's not green no not green yellow yellow green's more of a summer color i'd say yeah because yeah yeah, yeah. I, I, but also, I can see what you're saying with you think i would think yellow and green but it's not yellow and green no green, yeah no i was green. just thinking like this other one any... the other color you might not know or not you, you'll know you know the color but it's it's more of like you're like oh i get it uh purple. like violet yeah okay purple Vi- and yellow yeah, yeah. yeah purple purple and yellow i've never really thought of that that being the f- official colors. Yeah. Uh, just, I, was, I just thought of like pastel colors in general is yeah. kind of what <laughs> you see. I always, I always picture yellow. That's always the one I think of. Yeah, me. yellow should have came quicker. Yeah, it was a terrible night. I'll never call her back. Um, <laughs> here's a good one just to make it topical, just so that we can say we were topical and we're keeping up to date with the world. What is the name for the traditional Ukrainian craft of egg decorating? What's that called again? Were you just telling me about this the other day? In their language, um, it's it's a Ukrainian word, I guess. Uh, they call it. They, I don't even know how Ukrainian sounds. Uh, Kraftanarta. No. Kra- Kraftanarta. Kraftanarta. I was doing like arts and crafts. Happy Kraftanarta. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it sounds like more of a like a like a Netherlands word. Yeah, it was more like Happy Swedish. Happy Narta. Hingle yeah. thing about it. That's a dingleberry. <laughs> uh, no, the word is, I'm going to guess it's Paisanka? Paisanka. Hmm. Sayanka? No, no, not Sayanka. Paisanka? There are a number Paisanka. of different kinds of traditional methods. The word Paisanka comes from the word to write. How about that? All right, now some, okay. some fun questions just to end it off. How much does the world's largest chocolate bunny weigh? Whoa. I'm going to go crazy here. 500 pounds. In kilos, please. I have no idea what the... A thousand kilos? I don't even know what the thing becomes. I don't either. Yeah. Um, Give me one second. I can find it for you real fast. It's a... What'd you say again? 500 pounds of 1,000 kilos? That's more than 1,000 kilos. Oh, man. 
Uh, that's a lot of chocolate. I have it in pounds now. So am I not even in the ballpark? What did you with say? Five hundred. You are pounds? hilariously low. What? You are you are laughably off the mark with with five hundred pounds. I mean, like, like if I was if I was a part of this project to make this chocolate, much chocolate, I would be offended, and I would drive to your home and I would hunt you down. Dude, that's how offended I would be. I mean, a car is several thousand pounds. I guess it could be bigger than a car. Um, seventy-seven thousand pounds. Two car, two-ish cars. Closer, but less than. It's nearly three tons. Five thousand. It's two thousand seven hundred twenty-one kilos. In pounds, that's five thousand nine hundred ninety-eight. Point seven seven eight. Holy cow! Of chocolate. I I guess the tenth. Shape. I guess the tenth of the correct answer. At about first. three tons of chocolate. This monster rabbit was carved by Harry Johnson. Here's a picture of him. Oh yikes! Can we Harry show Johnson. that on the internet? Oh shit! Harry Johnson. I, it just hit me what I said <laughs> out loud. Harry Johnson. Wow. I feel. I feel like you know oh, what? This is coming in. Funny. This is coming out after April Fool's Day. But I feel like I just got April Fool's. Do you website do you have now. a picture of it? Like, is it like the I'll standard? I don't bunny? have one here, but I can find one. I'll find one. I'll put it up right there. Where do you go to see the world's I... largest chocolate bunny? Y- you would Back think here. that would be a United States thing because we are very sugar conscious people, but it also feels like something another country would do as like a middle finger now we did it um where do you get chocolate or maybe i shouldn't think like that who would do this this would be like need three I don't wanna, guesses kind of want to see i'm gonna say spain again nope nope wrong okay continent as your hint okay oh man asia is probably could be asia could be south america what about um, Argentina? Ooh, Argentina. Wrong continent again. Yikes. Wow. I know. I know. It's not. There's no way it's Canada. I don't think it's I re, it's Europe's. Not. It's not Europe. Is it? Uh, they're, not, they're not doing this in Africa, I don't think. It could be... <laughs> I want to say like Tokyo, Japan. Like that seems like something they would do, and it would be like the cutest like some... big that... bunny ever. That does sound like something they would do. Wrong continent, Japan. still though. You're still completely off the continent. You're not even on the right continent yet. Is it in Africa? It is. Yeah, it's in Africa. What? I know it is. A country in Africa did this. Yeah. Which one? South Africa. South Africa. It was South Africa. Wow. It says this rabbit is carved to look like the Duracell rabbit. Okay, here's the okay, here's the, here's the next ones. Where is the world's largest decorated egg? Decorated Easter egg. And you've already said the name of the country in your guesses. Crap. The largest decorated Easter egg. I'll give you a hint up front. It's not Spain. <laughs> I don't take know why. Spain, I'm like... Take Spain out of your head. Yeah, yeah. It's a very Catholic country. That's probably why you're thinking it. Largest decorated egg. Who would who would be into that? Japan? No. Not Japan. Um man. Italy. No. Another Catholic. Damn, I'm not good at this. Um Argentina. No. <laughs> Dang it. I don't even remember what I've guessed. I mean, I'm remembering, but now I don't know what else I've It was one of those where you're like, I don't think it's this one. It was one of those. Germany? No, I didn't guess Germany, though. No. And they had something else. I don't. Oh, and Canada. Canada. Dang, Canada's got the big eggs? It's in Vergerville, Alberta. Vergerville. How did, I wonder how that town... 
came to the decision like, all right, we're going to do the biggest. We're going to be the one that's going to make that. Just, we're going to be I, the, I think just one the biggest. One person wants to do it, and they just have the money yeah. and resources to get like a lot of people in on it. As just something just like, it's probably like a small Burgerville. Uh, it could be like a small area, and they're like, this is our thing. That's uh, funny. Here's, okay, here's a, here's a uh, crazy one. How many peeps get eaten every year in the USA? Oh my gosh, zero. Hopefully. Oh, do you? I you like know, peeps. I like, see, I, like I one, make that one package of peeps, maybe, but I'm, I never buy peeps. It has to be like yeah. just around, and I'll. Eat I couple. make that joke, and I kind of feel bad about it because I don't even know the last time I've tried them. Like I would probably think they're fine. They're just marshmallows. Uh, That's all they are. So um, really, like like marshmallow covered in glitter. Yeah, I was like, how many litter. peeps a year or a de- uh, this get day? Eaten every year in the USA. Um, twenty million more ballpark. A hundred million more times that by a number under ten. I was gonna say two hundred million next. No, more than that. Double Dang, that. 500, 500 million? 500 million? You're closer. 600. Yeah, you're million. closer. 700 million? Seven, about 700 million are eaten. I was going to say, year. don't even let me get close to a billion. And it says here, peeps are now Seven. being coated in chocolate. Mm. I mean, it's I good. I maybe about that more than I mean, just it, it plain. But okay, that. here we go. Two more. Last two. What is... Osterheis. Well, uh, can you say that again? What is Osterheis? How hi, heis. Osterheis. Oster. Osterheis is a. What is Osterheis? Osterheis is a a Russian bread made with eggs. It's like an eggy bre- egg bread, eggy bread. What Osterhaus. is Osterhaus? House is probably house. No. Oh, you're wrong. Damn. I thought Medically, I was on something. You're right, but literally. It's, it wrong. seemed like it would have been like H-A-U-S, like ha- Haas. No, it's, it's the Easter hare. Osterhaus delivered eggs in Germany long before Peter Cottontail. Osterhaus. It's, like it's like an Easter, an old Easter bunny. Huh. Yeah. There you go. It's German. And then here's the last last question. What? This is important because you're going to be a father soon. Mm-hmm. What traditionally did children do to prepare for the Easter hare in Germany? Very German holiday. Didn't really Very, yeah, I was going to say, learning something here. Or this person. Who what? This is German. They're German and from the 1800s. Um... I think they would set out some sort of basket and or like receptacle for the eggs to be placed into. And man, I putting out a carrot seems too obvious. Uh how would they acquire these receptacles or baskets? They would make them out of very you you're i'm gonna give it to you i'm gonna give you the point yes even though you said basket because this says they built nests you put oh that's kind of cool they would they would build these nests to hold the eggs and they were often built in hats so you'd have it on your hat and you would you'd have like all your that. eggs on your hat i know not kind of cool that's cool that's cute i like that i want to start wearing yeah. like an easter hat like a top hat and then put like a like a nest in there maybe an eagle will like... land on my head I should a just do that. Maybe I should start wearing with it all, all the time. <laughs> with a nest on it. I'll do it with my bucket hat. Or the yeah, that'd be cool. And if anyone, uh, if the other team scores, I'll start throwing eggs at the other team. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's your that's Easter. Now you, we know more about Easter. I definitely very know very a and lot more things, yeah. What did Tommy get for Easter? A uh, big old kiss. <laughs> no, he got jelly beans. <laughs> That's, got why, jelly that's, beans. that's when the Easter that's when Peter Cottontail got canceled and they brought in the <laughs> Easter bunny as like a replacement. Yeah, they canceled that song. Peter the original Cottontail version of that song. Kissing boys. <laughs> oh, they don't. Yeah.
Here, Tommy, wear this bonnet. <laughs> That's horrible. Uh, oh, I'm terrible.